What up fam? So for all you base plate army goers out there, this is how I display some of my army. Now, if you've been paying attention, I technically bag up my thousand black falcons in Ziploc bags separated by units. So that way, if I have to display them again, it's easily accessible if I need to display them out again. But there are a few units, the red black falcons, in which I want to keep display 24 seven. And for a lot of us, we have a problem with dust. So if you've seen some of my older videos in the past, I am a fan of acrylic display cases. So I reached out to two companies. I display it and wicker brick to see which one can make me a base plate army display. Now, let me wind back a little bit. Both companies display their minifigures in steps as if you're in a school photo or something like that. So I reach out to both companies either through Instagram DMs or email through their actual website to see which one can make me a base plate display case where I can actually put a base plate and a display case on top. So eventually both companies reached out. Wicked Brick said no, but I display said yes, let's do it. Now, this isn't a sponsored video. This is simply me just making a display case for my two base plates for my Red Falcons. So that way there is a solution in where if you want to display your base plate armies, you can simply do so if you have Billy shelves or Calyx shelves or whatever have you. A lot of us have Billy shelves that you can just insert into them. Nice and neat, dust free. And like me, there are a lot of you out there who would love to display your base plate armies. I have one right there. Torn Company 501st is currently in their display case. I am missing one platoon that doesn't fit in there. And that's about 100 minifigures that can fit in that display case. I still have another 34 501st clones for the fourth platoon of that Torrent Company 501st that I can't display. So I think companies don't have this in mind where if you're displaying the same thing over and over again, like in most armies are, it's just flat. Just keep them flat. And I liked how this turned out. It fits the base plate perfectly all the way around. As you can see, there is not one piece of clearance all over. And you can see I'm shaking it. The base plate's not going anywhere. So dimensions for a base plate army works just fine. The clearance on the top is a little high if you were to not put a flag or anything but for me in my own specifications it works perfectly especially with the flags and to save on space stacking them on top of each other as opposed to just having one base plate that tears up this is a good way to condense and showcase your base plate armies in a case now because of how i display does their acrylic cases it doesn't have a perfect clearance to fit in a billy bookcase shelf from ikea there is a little bit that hangs over the shelf but it's not that bad if you're to look at it face forward but if you're going to tilt yourself from left to right you will notice that it's not perfectly clear in comparison to the wicker brick now if you use the calyx shelves these ones are perfect for these display case because they are very very deep in comparison to the billy shelves and if you were to stack them up it does work very well with the traditional box that these calyx shelves comes in now mine specifically isn't the perfect cube but it works just the same ultimately i am happy about these cases because well now i don't have to have dust on my figures that i really cherish in my collection so thank you i display it turned out very well all right so let me know what you guys think if you are a base plate army goer is this something you want to pick up if so dm i display Play and see if they're down to make this for you as well and they already have the dimensions so all it is is to replicate this over and over again so if you made it with me all the way to the end of this video thumbs up thumbs down like comment subscribe below and i'll see you on the next video all right guys peace go